Earlier, I analyzed the interaction of lions and tigers with crocodiles. Both lions and tigers interact very similarly with large species of true crocodiles, with which they share habitats. On land, big cats sometimes kill smaller crocodiles, and in rare cases they can even attack adults up to three and a half meters long. Crocodiles, in turn, steal prey from big cats, and sometimes even kill lions and tigers of any sex and age when they enter the water. It can be said that these predators usually do not enter into a predator-prey relationship, and coexistence with big cats has more positive effects on crocodiles than negative ones, as crocodiles often can scavenge or steal big cat kills. However, true crocodiles have historically evolved among large mammalian predators and have effective behavioral patterns for attacking and defending against big cats. But the situation may be completely different when it comes to alligators from the Cayman subfamily, which evolved in the archaic ecosystems of South America, free of placental predators. These two worlds collided only recently in geological terms, when the Isthmus of Panama was formed. It is well known that large cats in South America include alligators in their diet. Cougars and jaguars regularly hunt caimans, and isotope evidence suggests the same behavior of the extinct saber-toothed cat's melodon populator. There are especially many videos of jaguars hunting caimans in the Pantanal. However, in all cases these are yukari caimans, which are significantly smaller than adult jaguars. To the north, where there are not so many tourists with cameras, jaguars can meet with the much larger black caiman. The black caiman is often described as the largest member of the alligator family, although the largest known skulls and published measurements of live specimens of the black caiman are smaller than those of the American alligator. On average, the black caiman grows to the same length as the American alligator. But the black caiman has a relatively long tail, small head, gracile body and weighs less than American alligators and true crocodiles of the same length. However, in any case, an adult black caiman is more than twice as heavy as an adult jaguar. Can the black caiman turn the tables and make the jaguar its meal? After a long search, I managed to find only two observations that can be interpreted in favor of the black caiman. Benson reported that the caiman is capable of killing the jaguar. I do not know on which observations are based this claim, but it is clear that of all caimans, the black caiman is the most likely candidate. Recently, a video has also appeared of an entire jaguar cub being taken out of the stomach of a huge black caiman, which has swallowed it whole. It seems that no one has ever recorded a black caiman stealing prey from a jaguar. Therefore, if you think that due to its size, the black caiman should interact with the jaguar in the same way as true crocodiles interact with lions and tigers, forget about it. The black caiman is an alligator, and alligators are not true crocodiles. On the other hand, jaguars can prey on adult black caimans. Black caimans are non-preferred prey with a low selectivity index, but nonetheless they play some role in the jaguar's diet. I have found some observations to support this. And some of them may surprise wildlife lovers. In the first observation, a male black caiman, 3 meters 80 centimeters long, apparently had been killed by a jaguar. Based on the paw marks around the site, the caiman had been attacked by the jaguar while on a thick mat of floating vegetation in a canal located along the margin of lake. A black caiman of this length could weigh almost 200 kilograms, while the average weight of male Amazonian jaguars does not exceed 85 kilograms, there is no clear evidence that the jaguar that attacked the caiman was not a female. In another case, two black caiman carcasses were found, one of which was one and a half meters long and the other was three meters long. Both carcasses were found on the shore of the lake, and there were signs of a struggle in the grass on the shore. It was established that three jaguars were feeding on the carcasses, apparently, a female and her two cubs. There is no data on the weight of female jaguars in the Brazilian Amazon, but nearby, in Venezuela, they weigh on average about 52 kilograms. The probable weight of a three-meter black caiman is about 90 kilograms. The next observation comes from a deleted source. 
In this case, tourists found a black caiman carcass on the shore, which they estimated at four and a half meters in length. The guide later told them that the jaguar had killed this large caiman. Even if this caiman was not four and a half meters long, it was still significantly longer than three meters. In one of the old films, a battle of jaguars with two black caimans was artificially organized. In the first case, a young caiman, two and a half to three meters long, was pitted against a black jaguar. Cat versus crocodile, a battle out of the swamps of eternity. The cat has cleverness and guile on its side. The crocodile, brute strength and a killer's instinct. The cat's problem is simple, though not easy. It's how to get past those murderous teeth. When the thing is done, it is done simply and most effectively by drowning. The caiman was easily immobilized in a few seconds, despite being close in size to the black jaguar. In the second case, the jaguar attacked a huge adult male black caiman more than three and a half meters long. In the video, the caiman managed to drive off the jaguar, but there is also a photo of a pair of jaguars feeding on the carcass of this caiman. The caiman may have been shot or immobilized by humans for this scene, but this is not verifiable. In this video, a female jaguar and her two cubs are resting near a caiman carcass. Given that it was filmed in the Araguaia River, the carcass most likely belongs to a black caiman. A female jaguar may scavenge the carcass, or perhaps killed a black caiman in the water. In his book, Medem writes about the natural enemies of the black caiman. He states that in the past, jaguars often hunted the black caimans, especially juveniles and subadults, which remain separate from adults in swamps and lagoons, according to locals named Kofanes del Putumeo and Yakunas Maratipurano. Pinel reports that the jaguar kills and eats black caimans, which are still very large. This is surprising because the jaguar seems to be able to handle a black caiman more than twice of its own weight. Of course, fair fights rarely take place in the wild, and it is quite possible that all large black caimans killed by jaguars have been ambushed if weakened by external factors. But that doesn't change the fact that jaguars kill caimans much larger than themselves, at least under certain circumstances. But how is this possible? If we look at the feats of other big cats in the fight with crocodilians, we will see a completely different situation. It took Tigress Mikely 13 hours to kill a weakened mugger crocodile not much heavier than herself, and in the process she broke canines bitting the crocodile by the back of the neck. Leopards did not kill crocodiles close to their own size, and lions also did not kill similarly sized crocodiles alone, including even the lions from the shores of Lake Kariba, which know how to kill crocodiles. This simply does not happen, although in many arid regions of Africa, leopards and lions can easily encounter overheated and dehydrated crocodiles during severe droughts. In terms of anatomy, a jaguar is not much different from a lion, leopard or tiger. The skulls and bones of the postcranial skeleton of these large cats can be easily confused if you are not a specialist. The jaguar has a slightly stronger bite in relation to body weight than leopards, lions and tigers, but in absolute terms its bite is weaker than that of a lion and a tiger. A jaguar's canines are no stronger than those of a tiger. Jaguars are also not specialized reptile killers. It is well known that jaguars prefer to hunt mammals and only include reptiles in their diet for lack of more typical prey. Cougars also hunt caimans in South America and young alligators in Florida, while tigers in Sundarbans actively hunt water monitor lizards, which are ecologically somewhat similar to spectacled or yukari caimans. So the jaguar is not that different from other big cats. The real thing is that the black caiman is very different from true crocodiles. 
It is very naive to think that a jaguar would handle a crocodile much better than a same-sized leopard, lion or tiger. And it is also naive to think that leopards, lions or tigers could not hunt caimans in the same way that jaguars do if they lived in South America. This confirms the fact that the interaction of jaguars with Morlid crocodiles, Orinoco crocodiles and American crocodiles looks like the interaction of other big cats with true crocodiles in the old world. Jaguars never killed true crocodiles larger than themselves, and there are a recorded case of kleptoparasitism by Mullet's crocodile on the jaguar's prey in Belize, despite the difficulty of observation and the rarity of large prey in these places. There are also at least three reports of Mullet's crocodiles killing young jaguars. True crocodiles and alligators are separated by 83 and a half million years of independent evolution. In terms of ecology, anatomy and behavior, the black caiman is very similar to its smaller relatives, such as the Akari caiman. Caimans lack effective behavioral patterns to defend itself against large predatory mammals. The behavior of caimans in interaction with big cats does not seem like behavior of predators, it seems like the behavior of prey. The attacked caiman almost always tries to escape from the aggressor without defending its back and is too slow when it goes to active defense. Caimans have relatively short limbs, which limits their mobility on land. Caimans have relatively thin necks that are easier to grasp and crush with canines. Caimans also have lower anaerobic capacity and fatigue significantly faster than true crocodiles. They are simply not built to fight against predatory mammals. Speaking specifically about the black caiman, then it is considered even more docile species than other caimans. Madam describes the territorial behavior of this species, indicating that it is less aggressive than other species of crocodilians, because in the its natural environment cut tails, mutilated extremities or scars in the head are not observed common in other cases with other caiman species, especially when they are placing together with individuals of another species. Black caimans is more or less shy and easily frightened. Who would win a hypothetical battle, the largest black caiman or the largest jaguar? Despite the obvious superiority of the jaguars based on all known observations, do not forget that the largest male black caimans reach a weight of at least 400 kilograms. It is difficult to imagine how even the largest Pantanal jaguars, weighing almost 160 kilograms, could deal with such giants. But killing even the largest black caiman by a jaguar does not seem so impossible, given the fact that a black caiman is not at all adapted to confrontation with a jaguar.